Online Broadcast Network, After Buzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. Oh, after Buzz TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Hi everyone, we're here at After Buzz TV for the Modern Family After Show. This was episode four or three entitled Marco Polo. So basically on, or I'm Britta Garso and here with me I'm is Carly Garso. Basically in this episode, it was called Marco Polo because the Dumfies were evicted for, not evicted, but had to leave their house because they had a mold problem. So they had to stay in a hotel, which I was surprised the hotel wasn't nicer. Yeah, like we, I feel like their house is really nice. They we seem know like they a really money. well off family, mm -hmm. like Phil's into real estate. And maybe they just don't want to spend money on this. But also, do you have like, if you have renter's insurance or something, do you get like a hotel room stay? Yeah, I really When you have you a do. mold problem? Yeah. Because and it's I, not their fault. Yeah, and I feel like they would have planned it better. Yeah, and I was thinking, oh, well, maybe they're trying to save money because they all get their own rooms. Like they would give Haley your own, or Haley and Alex at least their own rooms. And then maybe Luke would stay with them. But they were all sharing one room. And I'm like, wow, they're like sharing this terrible room. You would yeah. think in such kind of a stressful situation where they're obviously spending money to have this mold taken care of, they wouldn't want to kind of relax and stay at a nice place. But the whole point was that Phil wanted them to have some quality time together. And yeah. so he got them one room. Yeah, and I always notice that Phil is the parent that like really wants to spend time with his kids. Not that Claire doesn't, but I feel like this season at least, like Phil's with them and like, active with them so I think that it made sense that he would be the one that like really wanted them to stay in a room by themselves like all together all five of them yeah I agree I I, know, I really liked this episode I like seeing them all I didn't really think it was very realistic because why was there like a cello we've never seen Alex play the cello yeah, before and then weird. she was playing the cello and then someone else said something else very strange like Luke had something weird I don't know it was just the room was so cluttered it seemed like they've been there for days but they only been there an afternoon at yeah. the beginning. But I thought it was cute that Phil wanted them all to spend time together. Mm -hmm. And play Marco Polo. And play Marco Polo. Episode. That was his big thing. And then at the end, he was playing with the, what, where were they from? Nigeria. The Nigerians. Yeah. yeah. They just didn't get it. He's like, take it from the top. Yeah. <laughs> and they kept Start calling him Marco. Yeah. Marco. And he's like, no, I'm Phil. But it you don't really think funny. about that, that that's like an American game. Yeah, you don't. You can't really teach that, really. I liked the pals he met in the hotel lobby bar. Me They're too. From something else. Yes, I know. I wrote it down. Right. Um, the guy that played Carl, like briefly mentioned Carl. He's from the ground floor. Oh, he is. Yeah. Okay. And what's his name in that show? I can't I remember. Forgot. But he's it's been really off. funny. It's not been on for so long. No, but it's coming back. In the winter, though. Yeah, but still, he's a really funny guy. I've seen him in other things, too, yeah, though. Yeah, and so th they were both, like, those actors that you see in random yeah. comedic roles, but they're not lead actors. Yeah, well, just their names are funny. Like, on the show, Lester and Carl. Yeah. And they're just, like, drinking the boxed wine out of, like, I got the impression it was, like, kind of like a slushy machine. I have a slushy machine, okay. too. Like a I slushy have... machine that they put boxed wine in. Great idea. If I Great had idea. the means, I would do it. I think it's hilarious. So funny. Like, the guy's, like, pouring a box of wine into the slushy machine, and these grown men are just drinking. It's, like, one of those machines that you get, like, a crystal light beverage from, like, a school store. Yeah, a school store, and they had like wasn't that Crystal Light or something? I think it, it was like some sort of it was some sort of fr fr fruity, like, fruity, sugary, fruity, drink. sugary drink. Yeah, which was is kind of like what that wine was. Yeah, so funny. And so it, funny. all it said was wine, and it had the picture of the red. Yeah, the probably because you can't advertise because everyone knows it's Franzia. That's <laughs> <laughs> or the wine cube from Target or the that wine we just cube discovered. From Target. It's four bottles of wine in one cube. Go pick it up. It's tasty. $16 a Target. A lot classier than this Phil Dumphy motel wine. Yes. <laughs> and thank you guys for watching and listening every week. Please subscribe on iTunes and YouTube and keep listening and watching and comment 
Let give us, us five stars. This week it's just us, but Jesse and Steven will be back next, next week. Next week. So we're still hoping for a Halloween episode. I know. And then we'll dress up. Yeah. That'll be fun. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then we also saw Cam and his dolphins. They were 5-0. and oh, And on this episode, they won 6-0. and oh, So he's a great football coach. Yeah. Beloved by the town. Yeah. He gets all these gift baskets. And I totally related when Lily was calling Harry and David so upset about like chocolate covered um roasted red peppers no they were like um tomatoes what are they called sundry tomatoes sundry tomatoes. Tomatoes. tomatoes okay we've gotten gift baskets at our old job from for christmas from, from very Harry. sweet but oh like the things that are in them like chocolate chocolate covered like chili peppers like why would you do that so i just gross. i'm not a fan Ugh. if you're thinking about sending this to someone please don't because or even, i sorry yeah, go ahead. Even when they put the crushed up peppers in chocolate bar, like thinking that they'll complement each other, it doesn't. Like the the spice of the pepper overtakes the chocolate, and you you're, yeah. nothing's complementing anything. You just have a fire in your mouth. Yeah, some chocolate and in she there. She said something else too. She said like the eggplant jelly. Like mm-hmm. I feel like that's really popular too. It's weird jellies right I now. Know. Well, Harry and David don't they specialize in pears? Yeah, I think they're so the I pear think, people. Which is kind of weird in general. No, but the, I would like a pear. Yeah, we've like had the pears. pears. We've jelly. had the pears yeah. before. They were good. But the jelly thing, like, stop making vegetables into jelly. And like, and, jala- and they always put jalapeno in jelly. Yeah. Now. Why? Why? Who I wants know. jalapeno in their jelly? I know. Like, like I love yeah, homemade eat some jalapeno jam and jelly. jelly for breakfast. So that's going to wake you up. Homemade jam and jelly is so tasty. It I would is. love to get it as any Christmas gift. In oh, wait, fruit I'm form. Really, I'm really craving pumpkin butter I at know. this moment. We should buy some. I know. Definitely. They should have put it in the basket for Cam. Yeah. But it was very relatable. I think we've all been there, gotten a gift basket full of stuff we'll never eat. Yeah. But still, it's a thought it's that a counts. It's a thought that counts, for sure. Mm-hmm. And good, because Cam is doing such a great job. Like, he the football is. team is doing so good. And we both thought that Manny would stick with the football team and just, like, mm-hmm. work his way up. Or, like, even being on the sidelines, he's enjoying it more, I feel like. Yeah. So I think this is definitely going to be a constant in the show. Like, it's not going to go anywhere, the football. Yeah, I think so, too. And I definitely think we'll see him playing more. He didn't really play this episode. But I think it's just because Cam wants to win and Manny's not the best player. And yeah. now that it's established, he's not the best yeah. player. We also learned that Cam is very superstitious on this episode when it comes to football. I like a sports superstition, which yeah. I liked because... I I think that plays out in a, like a lot of people believe in that a lot of people do but I I don't know I've never been in that situation I guess but he kind of proved himself wrong when Mitchell was there and he thought it was Mitchell's fault they were losing and then they ended up winning and he was still there I think it is all in your head but I think that I thought it was kind of rude of Mitchell to make fun of him oh, be like yeah. why is he doing this because it's not that big of a deal he's not hurting anyone but himself by running into the table and falling on the roller skate yeah and so it's like if he wants to do it and he believes that's going to help him coach better and help them win then why not just let him do it yeah which exactly. he realized at the end yeah I, I agree and I think that he's not going to do that in the future and it's going to be good to see Mitchell getting involved in football more because he's like so anti-sports and I think like him being Cam's biggest cheerleader will really be great for the show. I and I so. love the whole football plot in this. Because Me too. Because it's like fall right now. I don't know if, I mean, I feel like everyone's a football fan or majority of people. A like, lot I of love people. football. High school football, like everyone misses going to games Yeah, I'm glad stuff. it, like the time of year apparently in the show is the same as right the time now. of year we're in. Yeah, so that's why we're thinking there's a Halloween episode know, maybe I next really week. So. We should look it up and see if there is I one. Know. So, yeah, I really like the football plot line, and I think that Cam's a great coach, and I think the superstitions will stop. I do guess the, like, wearing the same outfit, though, like, wearing the same t-shirt, like, maybe he yeah. should wash it, but I get that. Yeah, I get, I mean, I get it all. It makes, it's, if it makes sense to him, then let yeah. him do it. And I think that one of the best things about Mitchell and Cam are that they're so different that they can gain so much from the other person, and I think that Mitchell's kind of learning that slowly but surely, that, like, oh, maybe I hate football because I've always been bad at sports and been made fun of, but I think that because, like, Cam is so passionate about football that maybe Mitchell will start to, like, turn a leaf and give it... Like, an, I mean, it's been so many years since he said he was, like, made fun of as a kid for yeah. not being good at sports. So he should probably learn to let it go and, like, try to like it at yeah. least. Yeah. But that's what makes Mitchell so great, I feel like, is he doesn't really let things go. And, like, he holds I grudges know, kind of thing. True. It's just, like, his personality and his character. Yeah. It's funny. I agree. 
But yeah, I love the football. And hope they keep going. Let's talk about Manny's new girlfriend. Yeah, Manny has a had a had girlfriend. A girlfriend. Mm, so I saw that it. coming. I saw it coming too. From I mean, she was a senior. Sam, the most popular girl in high school. She drove a red Mustang, blonde hair, very pretty, stereotypical. Yes, yeah. very pretty. She seemed nice up until she cheated on Manny with her ex-boyfriend. She was only using Manny to make her ex-boyfriend jealous. So <gasps> sad. Manny is so sweet. I know he's so sweet. And I sweet. feel like he, he was crying. He has to be sweet in real life as well. Oh, for sure. And I hope that Manny really does start dating people on the show. And I hope it's like a nice, sweet girl. Like, I don't know, I though. think someone in like the school band. Yeah, I definitely feel like someone more intellectual because he's so smart and you know likes to play chess likes music Mm -hmm. yeah things like that I think someone more in that realm would be good for him but I also think he's only 15 like I think that yeah he doesn't need a girlfriend yeah we can hold off on that maybe (coughs) but he's always been really mature he is really mature very smart but I don't know I'd like to I don't know if I'd like to go down that path just yet with Manny I think that let's concentrate on Alex maybe having a boyfriend I just she's think going I want to, to see her him with other people like manny's never really around people well, i know but like alex is graduating high school and she's never had a, we've never seen her have a boyfriend true i guess so, none of them we have besides Haley. besides Haley, but because that's like just her character mm-hmm. but luke is pretty young yet too i yeah. think we should like go in order here like not skip true to the young ones true could work mm-hmm. to see that but mm, manny maybe just some friends in other areas. Yeah, some football like, friends. I think, no, like, wouldn't it be cute if he dated a former or, like, another chef and she could be his sous chef? Oh, yeah, we wanted. That'd be cute. Yeah, we wanted to see and hear more about his classes. His cooking. His cooking classes. Oh, yeah. Man, he should just cook on every episode. I know. It would look scrumptious and I can just picture it. Mm-hmm. I would love it. Also, you guys, are sad news. Sad news. In the Modern Family family. One of the actors has died. Her name's Elizabeth Pina, and she played Gloria's mom. So we're offering prayers and condolences to her and her family. So sad. She's only 55. She died yesterday. And a lot of celebrities have took to Twitter and said their condolences. Very sad. Much too sad. And so I don't know if they're going to address it on the show or how that's Maybe the next episode they'll do like in loving memory of. Yeah, because she wasn't always there, like Gloria's mom, because her whole family still lives Lives in um, Columbia. Yeah, Mm -hmm. but I'm sure they'll address it somehow. I'm sure they'll address it. Yeah, which will be sad. Those are always the saddest episodes. Oh my gosh, the, know what I'm thinking of? Eight Simple yes. Rules. Eight Simple Rules, John Rutter. Oh my gosh. Could be the saddest, like, death episode. It is. In television it's the history. Saddest in television history. If you history. haven't seen it, don't ever watch it. Don't. Ugh. Unless you want to cry. For, like, you won't cry just while you're watching that episode. You'll probably just sob the whole day. But also, if you're a Glee fan, the quarterback episode okay, yeah. for Cory Monty, that was tragic and sad as well. Yeah, so I mean, sad. that was really hard to get through, and that was really tastefully done because mm-hmm. they didn't even mention how Finn died. Yeah. Because it wasn't that wasn't the important thing. It was just that he yeah. passed. And I really liked that, but the John Ritter just gets me. Yeah, which is so... See, this is the thing, is, like, when those shows are, like, comedies... Well, Glee's kind of a dramedy, like, drama and comedy. Yeah. But when they're used to... You're used to watching it to make you laugh, and then you have this terrible, sad episode, it's, like, really, like, whoa takes you back like you're taken aback it does so i but i think that's like good television like something that can make you emotional i think the fact that people or at least i don't think we're the only ones got so emotional watching it was because you felt like they were an actual family he was their father and they were you it wasn't like they were just crying because their dad died it was like that's how they felt about it they felt like their dad exactly and and see like her i'm sure that they know her and and they're friends with her or were friends with her and and it's still very sad it is she wasn't a main character but she made an impact definitely sad so rest in peace sorry yeah anything else that happened you want to talk about Oh, the sex grenade cologne. That was funny. That was funny. And they were in the hotel, and Luke had a new cologne called Sex Grenade, and it actually looked like a grenade, which actually is yeah. kind of a cool idea. Like, you pull the tab, and then the cologne comes out. I kind of like that idea, but I didn't like how it literally, like, blew up, and they were attacked by the cologne. Yeah. It, ugh. I just can picture, like, that Axe body spray smell, I know. and I was like, I can't even imagine five people being in this hotel room, and this, like, comes out of this can and won't stop. 
Oh, that just sounds like terrible. 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 I would just leave. That would be it. I know. I'd go order my own room. Like, Haley's 18. I know. I would have not stayed there. I know. I don't really. Well, she doesn't have a job, so maybe that's why. Mm-hmm. It's just, ugh. Yeah, I still don't really get why they saved that motel. Don't really understand. But it was cute at the end when they all play Marco Polo with Phil because they realized it's all he wanted was to spend time with them. Yeah, it he's was really cute. He's the best dad. He is great. the best dad. And Haley's like, he's like obsessed with it. Yeah, and he is, he is and it's so great. Mm-hmm. And Luke says he's his hero, which is really cute. I know. They all, like, they're just the perfect family. They are Even though great they're family. supposed to be, like, semi-dysfunctional and they're all kind of crazy in their own way, but they're really, like, the typical modern day family they are like the whole modern family is supposed to show us like different family structures Mm -hmm. i think but still like everyone has their unique personalities it's just it's also funny to me though that they're all supposed to be modern unique families but they all are so loving and like they all get together all the time they're so close there's never really any conflict and if it is it lasts less than a day yeah but that's because it's a comedy yeah no one wants to see it like real sad family conflict you watch Modern Family to have a laugh. No, yeah. I always have a laugh. I guess that's probably why they do it. I mean, I like that they do it that way. Yeah, me too. But I just think it's funny that they're supposed to be Modern I know. Family. It is. It is. Do you want to go into predictions? Yes. And now, you're after Buzz TV predictions. Well, I think we're both hoping for the Halloween episode next week. I know. Fingers crossed, you guys. Really? <laughs> They usually have one, though. So they maybe do. we're just missing something. It's because we have a holiday. Yeah. Well, they'll have one, and we'll dress up. Yeah. I wish we could, like, give candy to everyone listening and Or watching. get candy. Or get candy. Maybe <laughs> just bring some in and just eat it. Yeah. Eat it here. A little, like, With, little... like, a pumpkin. You know, like, the pump, old pumpkin, oh, classic pumpkins those. where you go the trick or treating? Pills. So, like, a dollar. just, like, put it here in between us. We should and just candy. chomp on candy. That sounds so good. I want to do that right now. I know we do. Like, after this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Other predictions, definitely seen Manny play more football. Yeah, and get better. Hopefully more friends. Yeah, I think so. Maybe more more of um, Haley and... Yeah. Yeah. What is his name? Oh, gosh. Why am I forgetting him? Well, you know him from last week. The babysitter. Yeah. Joe's babysitter. Yeah. What is his name? <laughs> Andy. Andy! Right? Yeah, it's Andy. Yeah, mm-hmm. so maybe more of them... Because I like that, but I also understand that he is a busy actor. Like, he's on other things, so yeah. he can't really be on the show permanently. But you would think he'd want to be on the show. Yeah, no, it's such a great show. Everyone, I feel like everyone would want to be on Modern Family. It. Yeah, and maybe Alex with a boyfriend, but I don't know. That would be... I am surprised they haven't brought in, like, the whole, like, Alex and Haley fighting over a boy kind of thing. I just think it's overdone. I guess it is pretty so, overdone, and they're so different. They are. But yeah, I definitely would like to see that. Yeah. yeah. So that's hopefully. Maybe a family vacation. That'd be funny to watch. Yeah, but they just went to Australia, remember? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Last mm-hmm. season. They they could do one at the end. I just love the dumb face. Anything they do is funny. I know. They'll never move, I don't think. I was going to say, like, a moving episode would be funny, but, yeah, like, I don't think move. they'll ever leave their house. Maybe, like, the last episode, like, Pull a Full House. Like, the series finale, like, moving at, moving mm, out. That's true. But th- that won't be for a long time, don't worry. Long time. We don't want the show to end. Yeah. So funny. Okay. Well, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Britta underscore Garso. And you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Carly underscore Garso. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks. We'll be back here next week with our other co-hosts. <laughs> From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, We would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.